is up, guys? Major Mag Bayer, and welcome back to City Skylines. This is New Mag City. And it's looking pretty cool. Uh, since the last video, guys, there's been a nice little patch. My favourite yet. It's introduced a few features that were mods. Uh, and a few features that I've been crying out for, for so long. Um, just go and take a look at some of these now. Right, one of the things that's introduced is the terraforming tool. It is now um, in the main build of the game and is no longer... Wait, it is a mod if you choose it to be. I've also kept Bloody Penguin's mod version of it just because I prefer his version. For this one to see the one that's been introduced to the game here, which is in this little menu here. There we go. Um, but yeah, there's all these new menus being set up now. This one here is my favourite. We've got a whole new host of stuff. From abandoned factories. To, you know, sunken ships. Um, we've also got bits of castles, which I want to go ahead and use in the coming episodes. We've got rusted old cars. Uh, fallen trees. Bit of everything in here, um, but this is the one thing here that I am particularly excited about, and I'd be interested to see where this goes over the um, coming months in terms of the mod community because this is something that I wanted way back in probably I don't know September last year or something. In our early series of um, Magtropolis, and it's this year. It's basically walls that behave like roads. Now this is a little bit on the big side, yeah, but if we get some small walls or hedges using that tool that look like this here, these hedges, yeah, that would be cool because that would make doing that hedge along there so much easier. I mean, that took me an age to do. It's all little segments. You can see where they're all joined. Um, but yeah, it did. It took us a little while to do. Whereas if we can get some walls and hedges that look or that behave like this, it's so much easier to do. Be pretty cool. Um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and use that wall soon in the coming episode. Um, what else have we got? We've also got canals that have been introduced to the main build of the game. Water structures. There we go. There's some more walls in here. There's a few uh, little trenches. I'll just demonstrate a few. No only water can flow through here. We've got beast here. Little piers. Um, but these, yeah, the canals. Look at that. You make it so your water flows through, but again, you go ahead and curve all of these. So we can get some pretty sexy shapes out of them. Again, something we'll use in the coming episodes. Um, but the main tool that excites me in all of these guys. Just find it. It's this one here, the key. Use keys to give waterfront a nice finish. Keys are concrete walls built on the shore to even out terrain uh, differences and allowing for zoning near the waterfront. Uh, so I want to go ahead and use this tool now, guys. And I want to put it along here. I want to start it along here anyway. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, I know we just put this road in last episode, but I'm going to go ahead and delete it now. I'll delete it again. Right, let's go and get our waterfront tool, our K tool, and start putting some of this in. Now we want that that freeform K. I don't think these are freeform. I think they do have butter joints. We'll see if they have. Actually, not. How about that? <laughs> This is just going to tidy up all of our rivers. They're going to look amazing. I'm just going to bring this around to the bridge and I'm going to stop it here for now. Go 
go back and take a look at how it looks. So, like that there. There we go. Got that menu, and look at that. It just flattens out all of the land up to it. It just looks so cool. And the water just flows down on the inside pretty nicely. And that is awesome. That is an absolute brilliant idea. I can't believe it's taken so long to get it. And this is a free update as well. This is update 1.4. It's a free update. I would have quite happily paid for these tools. <laughs> right. Uh, let's go ahead and get our tram line again. See if we can run this alongside our road. So we're on this one here. We're going to go free form and we're going to run it alongside our key. As close as we can get it. So I'm going to bring it to right there. Pretty awesome. I am over the moon with that. That is a brilliant tool. Right, we'll just go ahead and connect our university back up then. Go and grab our road tool, the grass verge, and freeform that around under there. And on here somewhere we can get it to. And there, that's that'll do. I'm going to toggle the lights off. You can, still, you can see that we're still having issues with textures for the traffic lights. I'm not sure what that is. What mod that is. I know I managed to see anybody else having the same problem either. So. I'm not happy about that kink in the road there, but I'll get rid of that. Um, yeah, so, I mean, that is the key tool. This is... Pretty epic. I'm I'm looking forward to using this. I might go ahead and smooth that bit out, uh, but I'll do that off cam and just get rid of a few of these kinks in here. They're not the particularly the best looking things I've ever seen. Yeah, probably will get rid of them, um, but I'll do that off cam. Um, right, a couple of other things, guys. We've gone ahead and done over here. This is prepping for in a couple of episodes time. I want to put a big park in here and then build it. Um, buildings up and around this area here but I've started expanding into this area here because I want to well, give our sims our peeps some industry which I want to start building up over here but I just I don't want it to just be way out the sticks and nothing to it so I want to try and build structures up into where we have our industry but what I would like to go ahead and do is put in a car manufacturing facility over here which I did want to do in our city of Magtropolis, but see that save is not working, so I'm going to do it in this one. I've got some good ideas for that, so yeah, start that in the next episode. Um, but what else have we done? I've also gone ahead and connected up this road over here. So that freeway is all connected up, our highway. Nobody uses it yet, because nobody wants to be over here. I haven't said that, there's a couple of cars just coming around there, a couple of wagons. Are you going off? Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> yeah, like I said, nobody uses it. Um, I've gone ahead and changed the train station as well. I decided I wasn't happy with the train station that we had put in last episode, so we've gone with this one here. Which I do consider to be much more sexy. The Grand Central Station. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Awesome. Um, so yeah, uh, one thing we can go ahead and do now, guys, we need to start prepping for the winter when it does come round. So I figured we could go ahead and put in a road maintenance depot. Uh, this is um, something new that come with the Snowfall DLC. So this is in our road menu, I believe. It's tram, so road condition, right, here we go. We've got this thing here, road maintenance depot. Road maintenance depot houses maintenance vehicles. 
Uh, they travel around the city to boost roads, allowing travel at higher than normal speeds. Alright. So we want to plonk this guy. Probably not in the middle of the city centre. So I was thinking... Somewhere around here. Probably need to create some more avenues, that's the only thing. Yeah, we're going to go on this road alongside our freeway here, I think. Yeah, put it in there. 40 Gs. Money's not an issue, so that's fine. Let's have a look at our little maintenance vehicle. It's maintaining our roads. I'm not sure what he does when there's no snow, because I'm guessing that that is for snow. If roads are kept in good condition, vehicles can travel at higher speeds. So does that mean that we have a road condition now? Because in terms of like, you know, the wear and tear and stuff. Hmm. Something I'll have to look into, I think. Maybe there is. In which case, if there is, it's pretty cool. Something else to think about. Right, let's go and focus on some Unique buildings and we'll do some landmark structures or whatever you want to call them. Skyscrapers. Uh, we're going to start with the level 5 guys. We'll not find it in trees of course. That is something that is else that's been tidied up as well if we look in here. It's, they've separated all the parks right? so everything is easier to find. And these are official parks I believe. Got some tennis courts, like sporting structures here. Tennis courts, tennis courts, tennis courts, athletics track, tennis courts, basketball courts. And he has all of the water related stuff. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, anyways, unique structures, unique buildings. We're going with a level five. Uh, and I'm going to start with this one here, the Pinnacle Tower. The Pinnacle at Symphony Place is a 29 story office and retail skyscraper located in Nashville, Tennessee. In the city's Sobro, whatever that means. Uh, right, what I want to do is I want to plot this guy probably on this corner here, I'm thinking. This little empty corner. Something like that. That's a pretty nice building. I like that, actually. That is very nice. I don't like that. Cool. Got nice textures and stuff on it. Right, next up, uh, we're going to go with the Benes Spa building. Which I believe is a structure from Sao Paulo, Brazil. And this is also a level 5 building. Okay, guys. This is it here. Uh, and everybody's just gone red for some reason. Um, yeah, we've got the Benespa building is an important skyscraper located in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Now this will be our tallest skyscraper yet, I believe. Yeah, it's going to be bigger than this. So yeah, right, and I want to locate this probably right on this little kink here. Where is this one? No, no, we're going to go with this one. Out there. Quarter of a million. Is a um, little bit of a beast. Oh, yes, that's quite a nice building as well. Awesome. Right, so that's another two. It's starting to build up nicely in and around here. Uh, I'm just going to put our icons on, see how we're doing. Oh, I've got no electricity. <laughs> I'm glad I've done that, because we're about to lose the city. Then I'll just check out and see what's a matter with electricity. Ah. He broke it to me. Oops. Let's 
Seems like that's a nice new feature as well. Once the electric goes out, the crime goes up. <laughs> electric goes out, the crims come out. Cool. Anyways, on to our next um, unit building. Hopefully these guys will go ahead and recover us quickly. Our next building is the Kite Tower, which is in La Marx, I believe. Yep, it's this year. Uh, White Slender Column, uh, em Emblematic of San Francisco Skyline. I don't even know what that word means. Um, yeah, I want to go ahead and put this guy, this down here, guys. I was thinking right on the corner here. Uh, I think it'll probably look pretty cool in here. So, yeah, put it there. Uh, I'll put rocks around the base. I think, but that's a lot of this. That's awesome. Um, yeah, we've got a lot more rocks as well. I don't think that's something that I've showed it off. It's something that has also been introduced to the base game. Um, these here. So we can now take like big structures like this. In fact, we can probably go ahead and put a few on the beach. Um, let's just turn that around. We'll just plonk one there. Let's take another one. Just go and throw it like that. Uh, doesn't mean that we can go ahead and just you know, build little, little rockeries and stuff, which is something I do want to do. Uh, we'll use a bit of creativity. Create something pretty nice. But yeah, they look pretty awesome, I think. The monsoon descends upon New Mag City. <laughs> um, okay then, we've got one more unique build that I want to put in. This one is going to require some roads connected up to it. I want to put this build in over... Either here or here, but we'll see how it looks. So we're going to find it first. It is a level four building, and it's this thing here, the brown rock building. And I was thinking probably put that either there or there. I'm thinking this is probably a better place for it. Yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to go there. Cool. Uh, and then what I want to do is just connect these roads up. So. Let's go and grab uh, just a plain road. Uh, go straight from there to there, then to there, and then on for the point there. So we need to go a little bit higher. Like that, and then just connect that up. Take two. There we go. Connected that time. Uh, and then I'll go ahead and probably connect that straight down there. Like that. Yeah. I'm not going to stop that road running through there, though. I want to keep that like that. Let's have a look at this then. That's not a bad little building, that actually. You're going to need an electric, of course, but that's just because there's no buildings around here. And I'm not going to give it its own electric supply. I'll just wait until buildings do actually get built up and around to it uh, for it to gain its electric power supply. Things are starting to come along nicely. Um, one thing I do want to go ahead over the coming episodes, one of you guys pointed out that um, in the comments that we should probably do themes and stuff, which I think is a pretty good idea. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and create some theme packs uh, in the content manager and then we can start zoning themed areas. Pretty nice. So I'm going to go with probably um, a New York style, I think. Maybe it's on this side of the highway. Or maybe it's all of this area. I, I, I think it depends on how many you, like New York style buildings we can get. Really, as to how big our themed areas are going to be. Because I don't want to have like... 10 buildings over an area this size. Because if you look down here, we've got so many different variations of buildings. It, it looks pretty nice. I think if you narrow it down to only 10 buildings on this entire area, it's going to look a little bit there. A little bit there. <laughs> um, so yeah. Uh, I'll see what I can find on the workshop though. Uh, I think that is us done, guys. Next episode, we're going to go ahead and start 
um, our core manufacturing facility, which I'll probably start in a time-lapse video, I think, because it will be long and tedious. Um, but yeah, until the next one, guys. Thanks a lot for watching.